What's up YouTube, it's Onion Bomb here and welcome to my week 12 NFL game predictions of the 2018 season. But like always, before we go into the week 12 games to predict, uh, let's go back and look how we all did uh, for week 11. Now, as you guys can see, wasn't that great of a week for anybody really. Well, the best record being the Bulls at 7-6, and six, which even that's not the best. I unfortunately went 6-7, and seven. was not looking too good, I thought I was actually going to do worse, but some teams that were losing uh, it decided to come back, including my team, thankfully, the Pittsburgh Steelers, which is pretty good, and Madden making no sort of case for itself again at another bad week at 5-8, and eight. last couple weeks Madden has only gone like 6 predictions right. Uh, while me and the bull have gone like 9 and 10 predictions right. As you guys can see for the overall record, uh, the bull is creeping up on me. Uh, I am only in one lead. Well, I'm, at, I'm 95, 64, and 2, and the bull is 94, 65, and 2. Uh, the, the Madden is actually 80, 79, and 2. So the Madden, Madden is in very grave danger of having a negative overall record, which is just crazy. Uh, but I, I don't I guess I know. I, it looks like I'm smarter than a video game right now. Um, but yeah, a man's got to turn something around. Let's see if we can do it next week. If you guys are new to this series and don't know how it's done, basically for my predictions, I just predict who I personally think uh, what team's going to win the game, and then I take the two two teams on a piece of paper, put the two teams in a bowl, and I pick it out for the Bulls prediction, predicting that way, and Madden is just the result of a franchise simulation uh, and Madden's franchise mode. So yeah, looking more back on last week, the actual individual games, uh, for... Packers versus Seahawks. Me and Madden got that wrong with the Packers. Uh, the Bull got that right with the Seahawks. Uh, Bengals versus the Ravens. I got that right with the Ravens, but the Bull and Madden got that wrong with the Bengals. Uh, Steelers versus Jaguars. Me and the Bull got that right with the Steelers, but Madden got that wrong with the Jaguars. That was a close game, but the Steelers ended up bringing it back, which was really good. Um, the uh, the Panthers versus the Lions. Me and the Bull got that wrong with the Panthers. Man got that right with the Lions. Uh, Titans versus the Colts. We all three got that wrong with the Titans. Uh, Fa Cowboys versus the Falcons. Me and the Bull got that right with the Cowboys. The uh, Man got that wrong with the Falcons. The Buccaneers versus the Giants. I got that wrong with the Buccaneers. With the Bull and Man got that right with the Giants. Uh, the the Saint the. Saints versus the Eagles. I got that right with the Saints, but Bull and Madden got that wrong with the Eagles. I don't know why. It seems like I'm the only one who has faith in the Saints. Like the Bull and, Ma and Madden uh, don't oh, never pay, take the seats. I don't know why. They're a really good team. I I, I don't know why. Um, uh, Texans versus the Redskins. Me and the Bull got that right with the Texans, but Madden got that wrong with the Redskins. Uh, Broncos versus the Chargers. Me and the Bull got that wrong with the Chargers, but Madden got that right with the Broncos. And... Uh, Raiders versus the Cardinals. Uh, I got that wrong with the Cardinals, but the Bull Man got that right with the Raiders. Uh, Vikings versus the Bears. We all three got that wrong with the Vikings. And Chiefs versus the Rams. The probably the best game of the year, maybe even all time. Uh, uh, we all three got that right with the Rams. So that is all for that. Let's move forward to week number twelve. And predict those games. Alright, getting into it, we have the Thanksgiving Day games. And yes, this is the Thanksgiving week. So happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Starting off with 1230, we have the Bears at the Lions. And I'm going with the Bears. The Bears have been playing very well lately. Uh, they even just beat the Vikings. And after that, that's look, they're looking like they're in a good position to uh, win the a NFC North. So uh, that that's good for them. I think they can, uh, if they can beat the Lo Vikings, I think they can beat the Lions. And they've been tougher players, uh, uh, sorry, teams. Um, the Lions, uh, just uh, they came off a w good win against the Panthers, but... Still, I aren't aren't really the best. I feel like the uh, the Bears can definitely win this, so I'm gonna go with them doing it, winning it. 
Um, the bull is going to agree with me and say the Bears beat the Lions. Uh, and Madden's going to make this a three-way agreement, starting it off. 17-14, uh, to 14, the Bears win. And I like that score for this game. It seems pretty fitting. Uh, yeah, it won't be too high of a scoring game, but, you know, these teams can do something, put up a little bit of points, and, yeah, divisional rival should be a good game. All right, next up we have the Redskins at the Cowboys, still on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, I'm going with the Cowboys. Um, Redskins lost Alex Smith. I think that's going to be uh, a little bit uh, big for them, pretty big for them. Um, I think, did they sign, like, Mark Sanchez or something? I'm not sure who's... Starting for them, but uh, yeah, Dallas is you know starting to come back here. Um, is trying to win some games. Uh, Ezekiel, it's getting going. I I don't and they're not they're, they never were that bad. Um, so it, it it's possible. Um, I definitely think the Cowboys have got this one, and I think um, I think they're the slightly better team, and they're going to win it, especially with the Alex Smith injury, which is uh, very unfortunate. Uh, the Bull, however, is going to say the Alex Smith injury won't affect them at all, and the Redskins are going to win this game. Uh, Mads actually going to agree with the Bull and say the Redskins win 48-45 to over the Dallas Cowboys. Um, I mean, it's it's possible, but like I have I have personally have a lot of faith in the Cowboys for this one, but I'm not uh, I'm not chewing away anything here. All right, next up, the last uh, Thursday game for Thanksgiving is a pretty good one, actually. We have the Falcons at the Saints. This is a divisional rematch that was played earlier this year. The Saints, uh, in overtime, I'm pretty sure, got uh, got the best over the Falcons. Uh, and I'm going to say they sweep them. I'm going to go with the Saints winning this matchup again. The Saints are just way too good. The only team to beat the Rams. And you, we saw how explosive the Rams are against the Chiefs. Uh, I I think that offense is and like the defense is gonna be better and outplay Atlanta. Atlanta lost the Browns, uh, and they always be in one, so they could do it again. Or Falcons could switch off. It does. It could happen. But Saints do have home field advantage, so I'm liking the Saints more in this matchup. Uh, good game, good matchup. Uh, I'm not completing uh completely shutting out Atlanta, but they just haven't. This team has been playing that well with a lot of very injured teams. So uh, I think the Saints are going to get a win there. Uh, the Bull disagrees and says the Falcons are going to win this time around against the New Orleans Saints. Uh, Madden's actually going to agree with the Bull again. I say the Falcons win against the Saints 31-28. to uh, It's not impossible, but uh, the Saints probably should win. If the Falcons do win, that's definitely an out upset. Uh, Falcons are a decent team. They're just really injured this year. Uh, next up, we have the Browns at the Bengals. The first battle of Ohio for on the year. Pretty sure. Um, yeah, I don't think this game played this year. I don't know. I'm, ha I'm having trouble remembering. Uh, I'm going with the Bengals. Um, I just think, you know, Bengals, the, especially the way they've been playing this year so far, I think they can definitely beat the Cleveland Browns. Uh, I had my doubts at the beginning of the season. I thought may the Browns might be able to get like a win or so over the Bengals, but uh, I think the Bengals are uh, kind of good now. Uh, they're not. I mean, they're still bangling up. Like I don't think they're making the playoffs. But if the season ended now, I think they have the second wild card spot. So you never know. Uh, I think they will be able to beat the Browns. They'll be playing with some momentum, and once again, they have home field advantage. Uh, the Bulls going to agree with me and say the Bengals will beat the Cleveland Browns. And Madden's going to make this a three-way agreement saying the Bengals beat the Browns 27-20. to That's the that's a decent score for this game. I like it. I like the result. I think the Bengals will be able to beat the Browns. Alright, next up we have the Seahawks at the Panthers. Uh, Panthers, after getting destroyed by the Steelers, uh, they lost to the Lions. Uh, the Seahawks, they beat the Packers on Thursday Night Football. I'm going with the Panthers here. I think the Panthers finally bounce back after their two losses. Panthers are still a decent team. Uh, I think they can do this. I think uh, the Panthers can beat the Seahawks. I like the Panthers better than the Seahawks as I think they're the as in they're, I think they're the better team. 
Uh, I think they can get this win here. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, home foot advantage too. Like I said, I know I say that a lot, but like I, I also say I don't really take in home foot advantage too much. I try not to, but you know it is a slight advantage. So it, it is something to take in a little bit because it isn't fair for the team. But um, yeah, I just I think the Panthers are a better team here, and uh, I mean Seattle's all right, but I just. I like the Panthers more, and I think they're going to win this game. Uh, the Bulls going to agree with me and say the Panthers will beat the Seahawks, uh, but Madden's going to say the Seahawks win this 22-13. to We will see what happens when the game is played, because uh, that one could go either way, honestly. Uh, yeah, it, it honestly could go either way. That's a kind of a tough one. All right, next up we have the Jaguars at the Bills. Yeah, the, I don't know what happened to the Jaguars. Uh, the Jaguars, are, are, of course, against uh, my team, the Steelers, were looking really good until they uh, choked the 16-0 to zero lead. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, the Bills, however, the Bills, just, you know, they still don't have, like, Josh Allen or any quarterback. They released Nathan Peterman, which was a stupid move because Nathan Peterman is clearly the best quarterback in the NFL. So, um... Uh, I, I don't, I think, I mean, they did get a really nice win over the Jets, but that was the Jets. I think the Jaguars can finally, after like a six game losing streak, now being like three and seven, I finally, they can get something going here. I'm going to go with the Jaguars winning against the Bills. Uh, this is, this is actually a, a playoff rematch. Um, believe it or not, this was, uh, last year's wild card round. Um, I think, uh, the Jaguars will be able to, uh, get a win here in, uh, in Buffalo. Um, yeah, I mean, Leonard Fournette can get going, uh, defense can step up. If they play like they'd played in Pittsburgh, I think it's going to be way too much for the, uh, not in Pittsburgh, but against Pittsburgh, uh, I think they, it's going to be way too much for the Bills. Uh, the Bull agrees with what I'm saying, agrees with me, saying the Jaguars will beat the Bills, and Madden's going to make this a three-way agreement, saying the Jaguars win 35-14. to Man thinks the Jaguars are scoring a lot of points. Maybe they could get a lot of tur turnovers, honestly. So, uh, yeah, um, it could happen. But uh, yeah, they just gotta start stepping up, play better than they have been. All right. Let, next up, we have the Raiders at the Ravens. Raiders, congratulations. I said I wasn't picking you again, uh, and you made me pay for it by beating the Cardinals. But you are not being the Ravens, as no matter how hard I want you to beat the Ravens, you guys are not. I'm going with the Ravens winning this. Uh, even though they beat the Cardinals, man, that was the Cardinals, man. They have two wins against the uh, uh, 49ers, and they died. 49ers that don't have Jimmy G or anything like that. I just don't think the Raiders are a good team at all. Uh, and the Ravens are actually decent, <laughs> so, yeah, I think the Ravens will be winning this game against the Raiders, and the Bull agrees with me, says the Ravens are gonna win against the Oakland Raiders, uh, and Madden actually has the Raiders winning against the Ravens 34-14, to maybe... Uh, Raiders from last year, two years ago, but not these Raiders, not John Gruen's Raiders. Sorry, man. I I want if you're right, man. Good. I want you to be right, but I just really don't think you will be. And that's, oh, I don't know, man. You gotta make better picks than that if you want to take the lead here. All right. Next up, we have Dolphins at Colts. Uh, I'm going with the Colts. I'm going to have some faith in the Colts. Uh, they completely and utterly destroyed the Titans. Uh, yeah, they're decent, I guess. Uh, I didn't think they were going to be that good. Uh, but they're decent. Uh, they can beat teams. Um, they can also lose the teams, though. Don't think they're going to make the playoffs, but they're decent. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm taking the Colts to beat the Dolphins. Uh, I, the Dolphins have choked to other teams, too. So, this is perfect game for the Colts to win, honestly, I think. Uh, and once again, we ha we do have some home field advantage, um, so that's something to take in. I just, I actually think the Colts are a better team here, uh, especially the way when they they've been playing. Um, so, but yeah, uh, the Bulls going to disagree with me and say the Dolphins are gonna beat the Colts, and Man's gonna agree with the Bull and say the Dolphins beat the Colts 
17 to 13. Uh, if the Colts play bad, maybe, but if they play like they did against uh, Tennessee and other teams prior to that game, uh, I don't think it's going to go that way. I think the Colts can and will uh, come out on top uh, as long as they uh, step up and show up. All right, next up we have the 49ers at the Buccaneers. <sighs> Both teams that let me down. I took uh, fa- I had faith in the 49ers against the Giants. Uh, with after the big Nick Mullins win against uh, Ra- the Oakland Raiders, and they failed me, uh, and then against the Giants again, I had faith in Fitz Magic, and that failed me again. So, forgetting Fitz Magic and Nick Mullins are even a thing, we got two crap teams again playing in like a tank ball. I'm going with the Buccaneers. I think they have the better players. Um, I, I think they can overall do something better. Um, it, it honestly depends who shows up. If Fitzmagic shows up, then yeah, the Buccaneers. If Nick Mullen shows up, then the 49ers. If uh, they both just decide to suck, then then I don't know. If they both decide that Fitzmagic and Nick Mullen show up, and we might have a game like Rams versus Chiefs. <laughs> Only again, it's like two horrible teams instead of two good teams. So I, I really don't know. I'm going with the Buccaneers just because uh, they've won more games and they've done more this season. And I think they seem like the better team, not by much, of course, but that. But I just, I don't have much faith in the 49ers anymore. Uh, Nick Mullins, I think, might have only had one lucky game. Uh, but, you know, I decided to sell. Uh, it's always a risk when you sell in a hype. And I decided to do that at one time. And they they failed me. So, yeah, I'm going to say Fitzmagic shows up. And it, even if they, he doesn't, I think the Buccaneers can still win. Uh, the Bulls kind of agree with me and say the Buccaneers are going to win this. Uh, but Madden's going to take the 49ers here and say the 49ers beat the Buccaneers 21-17. to Hey, this one could go either way. So, man might be being smart there. So, I don't know. All right, next up we have the Giants at the Eagles. Um, Eagles really struggling. Giants really struggling. Um, but with the uh, with the Redskins injury, uh, uh, we don't we don't know what's gonna go on in that division anymore. Uh, I'm going with the Eagles. I think the previous Super Bowl champions can and will beat the Giants. Um, I mean, the Giants have been winning. I haven't been taking the Giants recently. Maybe I should, but I just, even though the Eagles haven't been doing the best, I just don't think they're going to lose to the Giants. If they do, not only will I lose a lot of faith in the Eagles, but I'm going to start to sell in more on the Giants and not sleep on them. But I'm going with the Eagles to win this game. Uh, The Bulls are going to agree with me. Say the Eagles beat the Giants. Uh, but Madden's going to take the Giants to beat the Eagles 23-21. to 21. Honestly, if the Giants do win, uh, I think that's a realistic score. Uh, so I can see the Giants win by that score. Alright, next up we have the Patriots at the Jets. And of course, I'm taking the Patriots. Uh, the Jets, you know, not the best team. Not a really good team either. Patriots pretty good team and they lost to the Titans I know but they might not you know they were just on a bye week so they didn't do anything last week um I forget what the Jets did but I don't think they won I don't know I but yeah of course the Patriots gonna win this matchup they've been winning it for years uh so I think the the Patriots are going to win against the Jets the Bulls gonna disagree. It's gonna take a major upset. Uh, say the Jets are going to beat the Patriots, uh, but Madden's going to go with the Patriots, uh, winning against the Jets, forty-two to twenty-one. I actually kind of like that score. I, I think the Patriots are gonna uh, easy win against the Jets. I don't know. Could be wrong. We'll just have to see. All right. Next up, we have the. Cardinals at the Chargers. Now the Cardinals, uh, they failed to beat the Raiders, which 
uh, were a team that was actually worse than them uh, record wise um, but the Chargers lost to the Broncos which they record wise were better than uh, I'm still going with the Chargers I still think the heart uh, the Cardinals are a, a very bad team uh, they're just, I don't think they're getting any more wins. I think they're going to finish 2-14, and 14, take the 49er wins, and that's all they're going to get. Uh, again, nice draft pick, and that's it. Chargers, uh, even though it's it's very hard to, um, that they're not going to win the division when they got the Kansas City Chiefs in that division. Uh, but they're going to definitely, I think they're going to definitely secure the uh, number 5 wild card spot. Um... I, I think they're a really good team as well. Um, and, yeah. Oh, I, I think I just think the Chargers are the much, much better team than the Arizona Cardinals. And the Bull agrees with me and says the Cardinals are going to beat... Sorry, the Chargers are going to beat the Cardinals. But Madden's taking a major upset here and saying the, Char the Cardinals are going to beat the Chargers. And I don't know about that, Madden. I, I just don't know about that. I think that's a too wild of a pick. Too wild a pick of a pick for you to be one prediction away from being uh near negative. Alright, next up we have the my game, the Steelers at the Broncos. And I'm taking my team, the Pittsburgh Steelers. If they can come back from a 16 nothing league against the Jaguars, they can beat the Denver Broncos. Uh, Denver's coming off a win, too. A good win against the Chargers. I think it's going to be a decent game. Uh, but I just think the Steelers are going to come out on top. I think the Steelers are the better team. Uh, you know, the like Steelers are a really good team. Broncos are pretty, like, they're pretty good too deep. They're decent. I just think the Steelers are going to find a way to do this and win against the Denver Broncos. Uh, and the Bulls going to agree with me and say the Steelers are going to win against the Broncos. And Man's going to make this a three-way agreement saying the Steelers beat the Broncos 28-21. to 21. Uh, that, Yeah, pretty realistic score. I don't think it's going to be a huge blowout victory, but it's going to be a victory for the Steelers nevertheless. Alright, next up we have the Packers... At the Vikings. And don't ask me why. I'm taking the Packers. I know, I know. I, this is wild. This is wild. I don't know why I'm taking the Packers. But literally every time I looked at this, I like, I like, I want, I knew, I know the Vikings are the better team here. But I don't know why, but every time I look, I want to take the Packers. Like my mind, my gut wants to take the Packers. So I'm not going to let that down. I'm going to take the Packers upsetting the Vikings. Um... Yeah, uh, I might be messing up here. I probably am. Uh, I, I think the Vikings can definitely win this and probably should win this. But, you know, I you, sometimes you got to pick upsets, and this is the one I'm picking. Uh, the Bull actually is going to agree with my upset here and say the Packers beat the Vikings. Uh, but Madden's going to pick the safe pick here and have the Vikings beat the Packers 35-29. to See, that's a good move on Madden's part because... If me and me and the bull get that wrong, and that's a prediction Madden gets right, that's that's a smart pick for Madden. Uh, oh, although that upset could happen, because uh, the Packers are still a decent team, especially with Aaron Rodgers. So you never know. We will have to see. All right. Next up, we have the sorry, Next up and last up, the Monday Night Football. We have Titans at the Texans. And I'm going with the Texans. I think the Texans are a better team. Uh, Titans are a decent team, too. Decent offense. Their defense is apparently really nice this year. Um, but, yeah, they just they completely choked against the Colts. Um, Titans have just been... I'm sorry, Texans have been really good on a nice winning streak. I don't think the Titans are going to end it. I mean, they could, but I have more faith in the Texans, especially after the Titans just... Uh, completely choked to the Colts uh so that's pretty much why I'm going with the Texans there um the Bulls gonna agree with me and say the Texans beat the Titans and man's gonna make this final prediction a three-way agreement saying the te Texans beat the Titans 28 to 7 another another crushing loss for the Titans is what man is saying and the two teams on their bye week are 
the two teams that played in the thriller of Monday Night Football last week. The Rams and the Chiefs are on their bye week, and they deserve it after that game. First game in NFL history to have two teams to have score over 50 points. Chiefs' first team in history to lose while putting up 50 points. Great game. That was crazy. Super Bowl caliber. Super Bowl contenders. That could be the Super Bowl. Um, but we, we don't know yet. We'll have to see. All right. Quick recap, shall we? Uh, Bears at the Lions. I'm taking the Bears. Bulls taking the Bears. Man's taking the Bears. Redskins at Cowboys. I'm taking the Cowboys. Bulls taking the Redskins. Man's taking the Redskins. Falcons at Saints. I'm taking the Saints. Bulls taking the Falcons. Man's taking the Falcons. Uh, Browns at Bengals. I'm taking the Bengals. Bulls taking the Bengals. Man's taking the Bengals. Seahawks at Panthers. I'm taking the Panthers. Bulls taking the Panthers. Man's taking the Seahawks. Jaguars at Bills. I'm taking the Jaguars. Bulls taking the Jaguars. Man's taking the Jaguars. Raiders at Ra- Ravens. I'm taking the Ravens. Bulls taking the Ravens. Man's taking the Raiders. Uh, Dolphins at Colts. I'm taking the Colts. Bulls taking the Dolphins. Man's taking the Dolphins. 49ers at Buccaneers. I'm taking the Buccaneers. Bulls taking the Buccaneers. And Man's taking the 49ers. Giants at Eagles. I'm taking the Eagles. Bulls taking the Eagles. Man's taking the Giants. Patriots at Jets. I'm taking the Patriots. Bulls taking the Jets. Man's taking the Patriots. Cardinals at Chargers. I'm taking the Chargers. Bulls taking the Chargers. Man's taking the Cardinals. Steelers at Broncos. I'm taking the Steelers. Bulls taking the Steelers. Man's taking the Steelers. Packers at Vikings. I'm taking the Packers. Bulls taking the Packers. Man's taking the Vikings. And Titans at Texans, I'm taking the Texans, Bulls taking the Texans, and man, is taking the Texans. And that wraps up the week 12 predictions of the 2018 season. A lot more games than bye weeks, uh, and a lot less bye weeks this week. Getting back to uh, normal games, normal weeks. More predictions to get right, also more to get wrong. The standings looking very interesting. Ma- the Bull, only one behind me. Madden, only one or two away from going negative in the record. How will this finish out? Stay tuned for next week, week 13's episode, because I will be recapping like I did for week 11 this week, uh, how it, everything went, how the record is, uh, and who lost what games. And then uh, we'll get into the week 13 predictions. And once again, guys, hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you guys for watching. Like or dislike. Subscribe or don't subscribe. You know, it's always up to you. And I'll see you guys in the next video you watch of me. Good bye. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong.